Hello, in this demo we will show how VCF customers can utilize VMware vDefend distributed firewall to protect the VCF management domain and its components. By default, the management workload domain configuration allow all inbound and outbound traffic. Any external or internal host can connect to the SDDC manager, to the vCenter servers, NSX manager, ARIA suite or other components that might reside in the management domain. VCF instances are usually protected by a data center or a perimeter firewall or even both and these firewalls are configured to stop external intruders. But nowadays this is not enough. Lateral movement is a common technique by which attackers spread from entry point to the rest of the network using various methods. The bottom line is that the VCF workload and its management components must be equally protected and lower the chances of any potential attacker compromising the virtual infrastructure. So the usual first step is to plan the segmentation strategy properly. Dividing the infrastructure into macro security zones provides a quick way to create traffic control between individual zones and protect from lateral movement. The first criteria when segmenting is to align with the natural boundaries of the VCF instance, which are clearly defined as an individual workload domains. Each VCF workload domain can be easily selected as an independent top-level security zone. Additionally, low-level security zone can be defined according to the functional characteristic of the VCF management components and the different access needs of other VCF elements. Common macro security zones usually are created for bastion host or jump boxes, infrastructure or shared services, and third-party automation tools or management applications. Now let's look at how the VDFN distributed firewall helps to secure the VCF management domain easily. Before VCF 5.2 respectively NSX 4.2, we could not secure VCF workloads connected to vSphere VLAN distributed port groups or DVPGs using the distributed firewall. VCF 5.2 and NSX 4.2 introduce a new NSX on DVPGs feature that enables customers to apply distributed firewall on any virtual machine, regardless of the network backing, which could be NSX VLAN or overlay segment and vSphere VLAN distributed port group. NSX on DVPG is disabled by default for greenfield deployments or upgrades to VCF 5.2, NSX 4.2. Post NSX 4.2 upgrades will be based on the previous state. When the feature is inactive, NSX does not discover vSphere distributed port groups. Out of the box, there is no distributed firewall policy configured on the management domain NSX and the workload domains vCenter servers, NSX managers and the SDDC manager are placed in the NSX excluded group. Note that from production environment, there will be three NSX managers per workload domain. Using the SDDC manager for quick additional verification indicates that no rules are currently applied on the DB filter for this virtual machine as expected. Testing HTTPS and ICMP traffic shows that the SDDC manager can be reached from two sources. The first is a test virtual machine and the second is an external jump host for this VCF setup. NSX on DVPGs is activated per vSphere cluster, but only affects the NSX prepared VDSs. Only the NSX prepared VDSs carry the system generated VLAN transport zones to manage the DVPGs. Traffic is not impacted during the activation. After short cluster reconfiguration, the feature is enabled and NSX discovers the vSphere distributed port groups. The VCF virtual machine management port group also shows the ports where the management components are attached. Because the virtual machines are still in the user excluded group at this stage, they will not have DB filter configured. Terraform allows for quick implementation of the distributed firewall rules to protect the VCF management components. 
Placing the rules in the appropriate category makes the policy easy to navigate, understand and manage. The infrastructure category policy is applied on the top level security zones, identified as an individual workload domains components. This policy allows traffic from the bastion or job hosts to manage the VCF stack. It enables the VCF workload domains to reach shared services like DNS, NTP and syslog. It also handles LDAP and Active Directory communications and external automation tools and backup traffic. The environment category policy is also applied to the target workload domains. This policy permits the required traffic in the VCF instance itself, like SDDC Manager traffic and vCenter Enhanced Link Mode. It allows all traffic between the components of individual workload domain and blocks the rest of the communication between workload domains. It also permits egress HTTPS traffic and has a catch-all rule at the end to drop any other communication. Because the VCF management domain virtual machines are still in the NSX user excluded group, at this stage DV filter does not exist on their VNX. To enable the distributed firewall, the required VCF management components have to be removed from the excluded group. Except the management domain NSX manager virtual machines. It is essential to leave the management domain NSX virtual machines in the excluded group to avoid blocking access to these components with the distributed firewall that it manages. Note that because this demo is done in a lab environment, there is a single NSX per workload domain. There will be three NSX managers in a cluster per workload domain for production deployment. So all three management domain NSX managers must be left in the user excluded group. Removing the virtual machines from the excluded group will enable the DB filter on their VNX and the respected distributed firewall rules will be automatically applied. Based on the configured security policy, all traffic from the test virtual machine is blocked while the jump box can still properly access the SDDC manager. A standard final step is to verify the policy accuracy by initiating test traffic from different sources and also check that all VCF components communicate appropriately in between and with external devices and services. Thank you for watching.